<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video I wanted to share with you an idea about relationships that I know is very, very important and I want to share with you. And that is, you got to expect, realise and know that people are going to be dissatisfied with you in life. People are going to be upset, annoyed or angry with you. you gotta, you got to notice and love it, accept it, be happy with it, embrace it, take it in and listen and learn from people. So do know, it's a normal, natural part of life, negotiating life, surfing life and relationships, to hear people being unhappy with you. And you gotta listen to them and, and like, it's okay. Don't take, don't take it too seriously or personally or like a huge deal. The thing is, the worse you are, just speaking simply now, okay, the worse you are, the more annoyed people will be, generally. Sometimes people are in a bad place and they'll be really annoyed and you've hardly done anything. But usually you have done something and you're guilty to a degree. Just using words relatively loosely, okay, you're guilty to a degree. We're all guilty. We're all perfectly making mistakes. We're all perfect, but yeah, there's a saying we're all perfectly imperfect, but nah, 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 nah. We're not imperfect. We're all perfect. But yes, we do make mistakes and we learn and grow like children. We, we totter, we flounder, we sink, we fall, we get back up again. <laughs> so, I want you in this video, this is what I want for me and for you. I want you to be comfortable and feel peace. Feel calm and at peace when people are unhappy with you. And I want you to be able to express when you're unhappy with people. Because that's what negotiating and going forward is about. Going forward means you tell people what you're ha unhappy with or happy with and what you want more of, what you would like more of. This allows clarity of what you like and don't like and allows an openness and clarity of what you do want and for that to come into the relationship. What's most important in relationships is for you to give and change yourself first. Don't wait for the other person to change or criticize, but start big time making big massive positive changes in yourself. Sometimes you almost have to turn around your old way and that can be very difficult so this video has powerful 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 intention to set you free in a way for you to set your own self free for me to facilitate catalyze and encourage you to be freer and to powerfully transform yourself in a very powerful and inner centeredness inner tranquil calm at peace way where you know you're entitled and have the right to say what you don't like in life and want like today for example i just to ground it okay give you an example i said i'd like it if other people did some shopping for the household public household products is because usually it's always me doing that in this this example like this thing i'm talking about um and i said like you know and then i was cleaning the house and stuff and yeah so Lately I've been like, maybe saying a few little things that I'd like people to be doing and this is okay, you know, it's no, no bullysome for me. And I did a lot of washing and cleaning today of the windows and I did that and I, you have to do it unattached. You don't have to, you can't do it grumpily, you're like, oh, you're not doing it and I'm doing this in a bad mood and I'm passive aggressive sulking towards you. <laughs> that doesn't work guys. So. I did it happily, merrily, in a good mood, with high energy, because I've been looking after my body, I've been cleansing my body, and I've been fortifying, strengthening my body. So I've been removing the bad stuff and getting in the good stuff. And I've been having a balance too. So there are the three aspects of health. So, speak your truth. Don't do it if you... Try not to do it if your voice is shaking. Some people say the quote, speak your truth even if your voice shakes. But I don't really agree with that optimally. So, like optimally, I don't agree with it. But under dire circumstances, when you, if you like, it's very dire, abusive. You, yeah, speak your voice and try and get safety and support. But if it's just a general circumstance, center yourself first. Then you don't have to be shaking because you're centered. You have the peace. You view the people as your family. You care for them. You're clear. Clear your energy. Have a shower. Water therapy. Go out in nature. Do some exercise or whatever. Meditate think happy thoughts so to speak it's true and then you don't have to be shaking and all trembling out of fear so try to do things fearlessly and enjoyably so that's what i did today in both my actions for the for the house which i love and they're awesome beautiful kind friendly positive generally people me too generally positive 
so um, yes, get comfortable. So this video is about empowering you to create awesome relationships, to have a better relationship, to feel more comfortable in yourself, more confident and comfortable in your own skin, and for you to help others to be more confident and comfortable in their own skin. Encourage people to tell you what they don't like about you and what they don't like about your behavior, so you can listen to them and learn and adapt, as long as it's fair and has integrity involved. Care for the people's feelings and emotions and perceptions. We all have different backgrounds and upbringings and we're different people and personalities, archetypes. So as a result, we do all have different perceptions, especially like even male, female, but even two members of the same sex, obviously. So it's very important to listen and learn and be open and non-attached and to live with integrity and re try to reach your best. Just gonna cross the road. Fearlessly crossing the road in front of all the traffic making a video. <laughs> Who cares? Beautiful plant. Hello, little plant. Hello, little plant. So, strive for greatness, but be unattached to the outcome. Know you'll flounder, but get back up again. Keep striving for greatness, and I don't mean that from a place of stress, but powerful intention. So, powerfully intend greatness, betterment, improvement. My whole life is based on the question, well, how can I improve? Or how can I get better? How can I improve? And a lot of my hardest lessons in life have come because I haven't listened to people. I haven't heard this video in the past. I needed this video in the past and that's why I'm making it for you now. Because this will save you a shitload of stress and conflict and unhappiness and sorrow, misery, pain, <laughs> disconnection, suffering. <laughs> so I've got to go now. Unless I'm going to go make a video in the shop. But I uh, hope this has helped. And Always to your best in life and I hope you have a great, great day and a great life. I want the best for you. Take care, love and care. Owen from Ireland. <laughs>